Good afternoon. Today is Sunday, September 13th, 2020. It's about 1.30 p.m. here in Pasadena, California. My name is Chris Rabelais. I'm the co-founder of All Sports Market, and here's the uh, weekly report. So most of the game schedules are intact. You have a few delays and schedule changes and things related to fires and other sorts of things. It's staying mostly on track, uh, although I am still seeing uh, reporting issues with data providers still not finding stable data. Um, kind of shocking to see the delays and such in the feeds. So anyhow, uh, we'll continue to, to research providers that we can use for expansion in the future so that we don't have to go through this process again uh, in the future. So the bubbles seem to be working pretty far. I think, you know, bubbles and the setups seem to be working uh, so far pretty well. The colleges, I would say, uh, look, the football schedule has just started up. That's super risky and it's gonna end up um, shutting down in a lot of places. I'm already seeing that. Um, as a result, we're not going to do, do game dividends on NCAA football. It's it's only, uh, that's for this season, it's only on the uh, learning side of the market. It's not on the pilot side of the market. So for the 2020 to 2021 partial half season, whatever you want to call it, some conferences playing, some not playing, um, it's just making a mess out of things. So we're, we're going to leave the, the game dividends out on NCAA football only. Uh, quarterly dividends will be paid as normal. So that's, uh, again, third quarters at the end of this month. So that's, and that's true across the uh, entire, entire market platform. Uh, okay, so NFL 2020 obviously is on us. This is the first Sunday. Um, lots of hype and advertising. And um, of course, because this is the moment in the sports schedule to make your big plays in terms of announcements for deals, uh, anything you've got coming for this season, this is where you put it out. So uh, whatever's coming, um, I think the big stuff has already come, like Michael Jordan with DraftKings and all of that. I already covered that. You may see a few more things, but usually it's favorable to get this stuff out right when the season kicks off. So I do expect to see more announcements from the gambling promoters of all sorts of various things to try to make it look like everything is just fantastic and this is the future of everything, even though it's the past of everything. Um, and that's what you're going to see because they've been drooling over this money for 20 years since, out, since Ace and I were in Costa Rica helping build the industry. So that's, that's how we knew about this. That's why ASM exists. That's why there's no crossing of these paths. So anyhow, um, I'd also like to know uh, for those of you out there that are in the government business, uh, why are you allowing those guys to go out and advertise that they're legal? Uh, and it makes it sound like that anybody in any state can sign up when, in fact, that is not the case. It's less than 20 states, like 16, 17 states where it's legal. And then there's a whole bunch of other restrictions related to whether you can sign up mobile or you have to go in person. It's, it's very dishonest to allow them to go out and promote this in such a way as to make everybody expect that it's available and legal for everyone when that's not even close to the truth. Uh, it's not available to most people, and it's not even in the places where it is available. It's not even available for them to sign up like you would anything normally. They have to physically go down and sign up at the place. Uh, and that's even being enforced now in some places during uh, COVID-19. So anyway, the whole thing is just a dishonest bunch of corruption from front to back. And that's all gambling is. That's all it was. And that's all it ever will be. Um, that's all it, it can be. It can't be anything else. It's the nature of it. So um, uh, commentary here, and this is important. So I want to put this up top. Uh, we have a, we've copied down from public statements, uh, an admission that somebody in this external forum had foreknowledge of the case being filed They've admitted, this is the SEC case, they've admitted that it was filed within 24 hours of, they posted notification. It did not come from us because I was not notified. I was notified when it took place afterwards, okay? I was not notified ahead of time. They knew this. I didn't know this. And for me, that's it. There is, there is no way that that information was discovered in any other way other than being in on it. And that is the definition of a conspiracy, period, period, full stop. That's how it works. So I now see that since this person, who I firmly believe is actually one of the SEC attorneys, admitting this in the public domain, 
Now there's a bunch of rewriting and deleting and editing a post. That's not going to work, okay? First of all, it tracks all those changes, and you can see it publicly, and we copied it down, okay? So we have all your false statements, so modifying the statements now is not going to make any difference. It's already taken place. So you're busted, okay? You're busted. That's the bottom line. You're busted. So we're going to keep digging, and we're going to put it all together, and we're going to prosecute this in one shot, okay? So I know you've had a lot of fun with all this stuff, and you've had a lot of fun with messing up the shareholders' value and hurting our stockholders and, and making a game out of it, but the game is coming to a very quick ending, okay? It's not going to be much fun here in the future for you guys. We recorded all of it, so you're not going to be able to revise history on us like is done these days in the political realm. It's not going to happen. We have it all recorded. It's not going to matter. I never hid contact with the SEC. It's on the conference calls, okay? I discussed it on the conference calls. I did not say that I did not say that I was in contact with them. Do not put words in my mouth. I absolutely did, and I reported it. What I was not allowed to do is report the nature and the details and all of the discussions that were going on, and that was true right up until the moment the case was filed, which I was not made aware of. By them, I was made aware of by a forum posting, and then I found out about it from the SEC. Now, those two times may cross by a few hours, but what did not happen is I did not get contacted with foreknowledge before somebody else had foreknowledge. And that person is not somebody inside the company. That is somebody outside the company. So that is proof positive that that's what took place, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. In fact, uh, oh, and on the matter of reporting, uh, reporting any sort of investigation, we are not a public company. I have no responsibility to do that. We are a CWH is a private company, so that is not the case. And you cannot sell shares in a nonprofit. Okay, it, that does not exist. Such a thing does not exist. A, a nonprofit is by nature a public owned entity, so there is no such thing as shares in it. it. Technically, it's owned by everyone already. So, what was reportable was reported, and it is reported for the nonprofit, and the private company has no reporting obligations for Wells Notice or anything of that nature. And they told me straight out not to discuss these matters at all. So months of time went by, months, and Alper, Alper will tell the same story because he actually asked me if I had heard from them about the case because it had been quiet for many months, if I remember correctly, at least six months. Uh, and that's when uh, very shortly, maybe a week or two weeks after is when all this, this happened and, and the the post forum posting and the notification of the case. So all, any other commentary or trying to twist the timelines, it's not going to bear out. I, facts and evidence will clearly show everything I've just told you is the truth. So the, the other side of the story is a complete falsehood. It's a complete lie. And, and even being caught, they're still lying about it, and they're trying to cover their tracks, and it's not going to work, okay? You're caught. You're caught. That's the bottom line. You're caught, okay? You're not going to win this. We're going to get to the bottom of it, and we're going to expose who did it. So anyhow, um, I sleep fine. You know, look, I know what's in evidence. If they want to take it to trial, they'll be foolish to do that because it's not going to, you're not going to win in a jury trial. But go ahead and take, I sleep fine. I don't chew my nails at night wondering what they're going to find because I know what to place. <laughs> so go ahead, have a field day. Uh, the facts and the law in this matter are on our side. They just are. And especially in view of the change in the law that took place recently in the SEC uh, Lou case. So whatever, do whatever you want to do, okay? It's not going to pay off. It's not going to pay off. In fact, it's going to backfire. Um, and Seth Leon will also be driven right, smashed into the pavement. That is also just a matter of time. These, these things are all connected. They're all connected together, okay? And all of it is going to be, you'll see. Uh, take a notice that Yahoo message boards are gone. Take a notice that Twitter is now censoring the president. This is because the laws are shifting rapidly and the companies, these companies are based in California. They know. They know what's coming. Okay. So 
this bit of being able to go out and say whatever without any consequences and cause trouble without any consequences and there's no accounting, that is very quickly coming to an end. And especially coming to an end for California companies and California-based individuals, okay? So, <laughs> you know, ignore it at your own peril, all right? We send a subpoena to these these institutions, these companies, they're going to turn over your information, okay? So I'm just, I'm trying to warn you before you get your head caught in a vice, okay? Because I'm going to protect this entity, okay? I'm going to take the necessary steps, and I'm offering you the opportunity to do the right thing before I take that opportunity away from you, and you're going to pay the full cost of what you've done, okay? That's why I'm not doing this immediately, okay? You are going to lose this if I pursue it. The law is not on your side at all, okay? Pay attention to the way things are happening. No Yahoo message boards, Twitter censoring the president. Get a clue, okay? Time's running out, running out quickly. Um, I have requested all of the IP information from all sports market from Ace, and he's provided that. So I am now going to know who you are and where you are. So I know that you guys log in and you snip little things and then you run off into your Roach Motel and you discuss it and you strategize over it for like a week and then you throw out some more lies. I'm going to see you doing that now, and I'm going to know who you are. So the noose is tightening around your neck, okay? Get a clue. Baseball learns nothing, okay? Black Sox scandal of 1919, Cubs make a, a gambling deal at the stadium. <laughs> All righty. Um, learns nothing. India bans online gambling. This is just like last week, early last week. I missed this. I just stumbled on this story today. That's 1.3 billion people gone from the market. Okay, DraftKings, DraftKings, listening, 1.3 billion disappeared, okay? Why? Because they know what it does to people, that's why. And society, and, and it's 1.3 billion. It's, and China too, no, no gambling in China. So it's about half the world gone right there. Uh, all right, so let me flip the script on you. Um, Email address, support at allsportsmarket.com. By the way, that's for everything. Um, I want you to get together with your best minds in the pro gambling space, and I want you to put together a brief on all of the advantages of sports gambling, all the advantages and benefits to society and the players and, and, and the world at large, Everything good that comes from sports gambling, I want you to uh, put that in a brief and send it to me. Since, since you like to challenge me on my side of it, I, I want to I flip it on you, and I want to see your advantages. Okay? So sell me the advantages of online gambling and gambling in general for, your, for yourself and for society, because there's only one. Profit to the operator. That's... It's, it's a brief with one line at the top. Profit to the operator, okay? But if you can add to that, please do. Get the best minds you can find and send it. I'll be happy to publish it. I'll spread it through my whole network. I'll put it out through every channel I can. I'll actively promote your document. How's that? So everybody's rushing to gamble, right? That's the claim. NFL ratings down again. Okay, 25% capacity in the stands on your opening game, that looked like total crap, okay? The message that sent was nobody cares, okay? That's what that look did for you. It says nobody cares. That's what you told the world, okay? And your ratings are down, okay? Again, again, okay? So... I don't know if this was 
rush to get your gambling buddies back online or something because mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake. Okay, so everybody's rushing back to gamble, right? That's what Jason Robbins is saying about DraftKings, although your numbers don't show that. They don't show that. You lose more dollars on every dollar you take in at a faster rate every quarter. <laughs> everybody's rushing to gamble. Where is that reflected in the numbers? Where is that reflected? And tell that to Vegas and Macau. And by the way, they have online operations. So why are they in the tank too? I mean, so the storyline I'm supposed to believe is that all those people that aren't going to piss their money down a hole and subject themselves to a deadly uh, plague by going into a German-fested, corruption-filled casino, those people are going to move it online. Okay, so where are the numbers? Shouldn't have all that volume that's been lost, like 80, 90 percent, shouldn't that have credited to the online space? I don't see it reported there anywhere. So it didn't happen. People are not going to rush back to gamble because they're broke. OK. <laughs> I mean, it's that simple. They they don't have the money to spend on it. And the few people that do are going to go through it like this, and then it's gone again. So watch Q3 and 4, okay? Q3 and 4 numbers are going to tell the story. Before you decide whether you want to believe me or not about this, and I understand, I get it, watch the numbers for Q3 and Q4. Basically, watch the year's 2020's performance through the whole sequence, all the way, actually, I'll even give you the first quarter. Go all the way through Super Bowl, okay? So go all the way through Q1 2021 and then take an analysis of what took place. But this play-by-play, -play, when there is no reporting of numbers and then the reporting of numbers of the quarterlies is behind by like a month, is extremely dishonest, okay? You're pimping people on the front end and then when the reports come out on the back end, they're lagging so far behind that there's no reaction. Basically, there is a reaction that stock tanks, OK, but you've already screwed everybody. OK, this is the game you're playing. You're playing the time time gap game. OK, that's exactly what is happening. Uh, this is going to be the same fight as the cigarette battle. OK, it's not going to be any different. The gambling guys are going to fight even, uh, I mean, tooth and nail and tooth and nail hand to hand combat constantly. I don't expect anything different. They've been drooling over this money for t more than 20 years since Ace and I were in Costa Rica and they realized they could get a piece of it. It's not going to stop. OK, so if you every deal that is reported as if it's oh, it's a new thing. They've been scheming about this for 20 years, the same amount of time that ASM has been since concept. OK, it's a parallel. OK, but they represent the online version of something that's been around forever. OK, so. It's a false race. They started a long time ago. Okay, we are the insurgent candidate. Okay, get your head straight. Any other framing is nonsensical and it's to put some agenda forward. That's it. Okay, it's not intellectually honest. All right, so 9 11, we had a, a, a site down situation, but it, it was, it looked like it might have been a DDoS attack, but it turns out it was a server site issue. Uh, I did notice. Some other main uh, websites on the on the Azure backend, which is what we use, that were slowing down. So um, Ace said it is not; it didn't come from our side. It was totally server side. All he did was just restart all of the services, and everything came back to begin. Uh, the market was operating. the 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 iOS app was working. The web app was working. The admin console was working. Just the web server went down for a little while. Um, I covered the NCAA uh, football no dividends this season. On the games, but quarterlies, yes, that's only on the learning market. Uh, Clipper, uh, Daryl, and Alper are uh, circulating a draft uh, through social media and their networks to see if we can get some interest on the idea behind the three-on-three -three basketball team. So that's news. That's uh, news from a few days ago. So I'll report back when I get some uh, uh, information back from Alper on how that went. So uh, the SIPA video. Uh, that was produced with Zach from five years ago, pretty much nailed where we are right now. Take a look at that. It's kind of fascinating, five years ago. 
So uh, maybe it crossed my mind watching all of this uh, sports restart aggressiveness, you know, to pushing timelines when you have FIFA pushing out, you have all these major sports entities that have been around and are worldwide forever pushing their schedules into 2021. Uh, yet we we can't seem to get that message that that's the smart thing to do. So I'm wondering if it's if it's being driven by the gambling, you know, you know, maybe gambling, maybe sports was never about passion and about energy and effort and about just uh, passion and not capital and profit. OK, by itself. Maybe this was always about gambling. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it was always about gambling. Maybe it was, you know, maybe maybe that's <laughs> the dirty little secret. I would say it's time to change that. Uh, that's not the way to go. That's that's a pathway that's going to lead to nothing but trouble. It's been shown over a very long time, 100 years. It's been shown over 100 years of stories going back to the uh, to the Black Sox Chicago scandal. So, um, you know, learn something. I mean, that's how human beings evolve. That's how we advance. That's that's how things get better. You don't go back to the same old crap. You, you learn, you improve, you, you do the next step. Okay. Gambling is garbage. It's, it's garbage. Okay. It's garbage. And I don't care who hates that. It is garbage. It is garbage. We're the only thing standing between, (laughs) you know, the light and the darkness. I think on this pathway, there's nobody else. Les is out there doing, Les Bernal of Stop Predatory Gambling is doing the legal side. God bless him for that part because that's just as important, if not more important in some cases. It's certainly equally important to the PR game. That seems to be our side of this, which, you know, that's a team, right? Everybody has a job, but there's just not a lot. I mean, there's not a lot standing between us and this effort. In fact, I don't see anybody else uh, actively making any effort. We're it. So when you support what we're doing through trading so that we get a better data model, through contributing to any of the programs that we put up or, or buying things from the campaign store or actually donating to the campaign store because it is a nonprofit, um, that's what you're helping is to is to fill that gap. And it is a division. There there has been this conversation uh, back in Costa Rica, back in 2005-ish, that we could straddle the line. No, we can't. Okay, that that was the, that was my position back then. Fights erupted. I'm, I look, I came out on top in that discussion, and that's why I'm still the one directing the company, and it's not somebody standing here in my place. Okay, first I wrote the specification with my bare hands. Okay, Ace didn't do it. Ace did not draw draw the blueprints. I drew the blueprints, okay? There's some people that need to get this. Now, I I know this is upsetting and it's hard to swallow, but all sports market is my baby, my brainchild. From here and from here, the concept is not a group effort, okay? The implementation is a group effort, but the concept is my concept, okay? That is just a factual statement, and Ace will tell you the same thing. Ace made the blueprints work. I drew them. Some of you have physical copies of it that I signed, okay? We are not going to make a deal with the devil, okay? And that's how I see gambling, literally and figuratively, okay? That's the truth. Vegas can kiss my ass, okay? It's a toxic wasteland of bad things, okay? I don't care if it disappears off the face of the planet, frankly. Get out of there. Go do something else, okay? We are here to take that energy that is going into a bad place and put it into a good place. If you believe in that, if you believe what I'm saying is true, I'm doing everything I possibly can to make it happen with the tools I have at every step, then that's what you're supporting. But there's no straddle, okay? You straddle, you're going to crack your private parts on a knife, okay? That's what's going to happen. You're going to have to decide which side of the line you are on. Are you with us or are you against us? If you're with us, get with us and stay on the track. 
This is about your future, not mine. My kids are grown, okay? I don't have grand ambitions to live in a big mansion over in Hollywood. I am not, I am here to implement this idea of investing in sports performance instead of gambling on sports performance. And the benefits of that will accrue to the public, to the shareholders, and to the nonprofit portion, okay, the part that I gave, but then I'm subject to rules about salaries. I, I've never been abusive of that stuff, never, okay? This is a mission to change the direction, and this is a critical moment. And yes, it is my firm claim, and I will litigate that claim if necessary, that a predatory action on behalf of maybe not on behalf of, maybe a handful, but I think when we get through with this, what we're going to find with the SEC case is that a small group of people who were slightly invested in this through some way, they got a grant of some kind or something, ran this up to the SEC, and they lied about some of the elements of it to get the case started. And the result of that has been put in, it's made it, it's put a cloud over us that's hard to break through in our moment of opportunity. That's actionable, okay? If I can show that that was done deliberately and it was put in our path to cause us to stumble, that's a damages claim that will find footing in the law. You would better hear me, okay? I'm not messing around. This is not a game. If I hit you with that claim, if you're an individual, and I don't care, but I'm not afraid of the government, okay, I will challenge all of you, and you're going to have to deal with this on its face, okay? 15 hard years of work, pretty much the vast majority of my professional livelihood, the, the most productive time of my life has gone into this enterprise. And if you think you can sabotage it, or if you can harm it, or somehow damage it, and there's no bill to pay, you're dead fucking wrong. Gambling is garbage, and it's from the past, and it's old and toxic like a pair of smelly underwear. Lose it. And if you sports guys had any sense, you would lose it before you get very much further into this and fuck up everything that you've built. It's about that close. So here's the reality of the political situation we have in my view, okay? Take it for whatever you want. We missed it 40 years ago. This is the subject of a completely different video, and I'm not going to get into this here, but the truth is we missed it 40 years ago. I grew up in the South, and I know what happened, okay? That's not politically tenable. Nobody's going to get elected on, hey, guess what? You missed it 40 years ago, but that's what happened. Now, there's a way to get from here to there, but it's not like this. This is not going to work. It will not work. Remember this, okay? Put this video in your file somewhere because I'm telling you it will not work. It's guaranteed to fail. And part of this, okay, so Ace and I, here's just an example. Ace and I have been telecommuting, basically being able to live anywhere in the world and work anywhere in the world pretty much for 20 years, okay? For 20 years. That is now becoming a, actually more than 20 years, closer to 25 years. That is now becoming a thing a thing, being able to live anywhere, a quarter century ago, Ace and I were doing this, okay? So that's part of the problem <laughs> here. There is a solution, but it, it, it's not change the politics to someone who lies to you, who says they can fix something they can't fix, because it's a systemic problem that started a long time ago that's going to have to be patched up differently to work, okay? It, there's a, the fork already went. OK, you took the wrong road. OK, you went this way. So there's no way to 
you you can't go back down the track you came. So you have to keep go, you have to go here, okay? Not not keep going here. <laughs> uh, different conversation. We're gonna need your help. Look, the job again, the job like uh, Alper's pitching this idea for the three on three celebrity league with Clipper and his basketball friends. The idea is to get one league, okay? Somebody's got to take us on, believe that we're worth the risk to give it one try. So everything is gonna drive to that. And that's what the, the uh, sportsvote.org uh, website toolkits are, are gonna be, I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, the sportsvote.org, that's correct. Um, the toolkits are gonna be uh, focused around simplifying that process to bring in uh, candidates, not, you know, candidates for listing to amplify the efforts that we've been putting out to find uh, first first um, candidate. You know, I can't do this all by myself. It's going to take more people out there. So the purpose of the campaign kit is going to be to amplify my efforts in that uh, in that effort. So think of me as the presidential candidate, but I'm not. Okay, sports is the presidential candidate. Okay, you're voting for sports. I'm just standing in that role right now. You're basically voting for yourself. I'm standing in that role and I need you to help uh, get the word out so that we can vote sports investing in. Okay, it's an issue advocacy campaign. That's what it is. So uh, the sportsvote.com is the uh, landing YouTube homepage for all of the videos and such and um, discussions. And when we start doing that, dot net, the sportsvote.net is the petition. Please uh, circulate that. And thank you to all of you who have been doing that. It's accelerating. I'm seeing some acceleration. We've added hundreds of petitions uh, signatures just in the last few weeks, which has never happened before since that thing's been up for 10 years. So that's good. And then the sportsvote.org is the base camp. It's also the, uh, the campaign store. There's a few things in there now, just a few things. Uh, by all means, look, it's, everything takes money to run. I didn't write the rules. So it will help. Uh, we do report all those numbers every month. You can find that information in the, in the base camp place, in the sportsvote.org. In that website, uh, in the members area, there, which, which if you're uh, um, uh, part of the company, if you're a share grantee or somehow have ownership in the company, you have rights to be in there. You can see it there. It says ASM slash CWH stakeholders only. You can request membership in there. I report that stuff in there, inputs and outputs, you know, money in, money out by the month. So you're going to know what happens. It's not a black box. Money doesn't go in and you just hope for the best. So anyhow, if you want to buy some things, it's, uh, it is a donation. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. We are, uh, I did uh, enable it for political action, which allows me to issue advo advocate for issues. Um, provided our spending doesn't exceed a certain amount, which it does not. So all of this is legal by the numbers. Um, right now, there's two. There's just uh, two different uh, face masks, one for the Sports Vote campaign logo, one for ASM, and then there's um, some hats from the Make Sports Great Again. That's all I have right now. Um, this is your market, your campaign. I'm going to need your help, okay? Um, I'm going to make it as easy and as, as painless as possible, but I do need help in spreading the information out there and getting all this stuff out there so we can get some chatter going. So for fun, uh, I'm just not even going to describe this. I'm just going to say it, and if you want to check it out, check it out. If you don't, you don't. Um, I think that those of you that know marketing and PR, you're going to understand the, the usefulness of this. Others are probably going to get mad and not look at it, but just uh, it's a tool and it's going to be a very useful one. Uh, more than likely, I might have got this wrong, but I don't think so. Um, go to trumpsports.org. Okay, trumpsports.org. One more time, trumpsports.org. And it refreshes once an hour. So you're going to see new stuff every hour. Um, okay, so this is kind of a fun thing. Uh, Facebook is opening a new data center. They actually broke ground on it earlier this year in, uh, in New Mexico in a city called Las Lunas, the moons, or the moon. Um, i not sure, plural, singular, I forgot. Uh, but it's, that, that's kind of clever, right? The moon, New Mexico. So they opening up a huge data center there. And uh, we have, as of uh, Friday, Friday or yesterday, 
Um, we've secured property not far from that data center in the name of Crystal World. It's a direct ownership of Crystal World Holdings Incorporated. So all of our stockholders own this. A half acre, um, a half acre on the ground, not far away from that data center in Las Lunas, New Mexico. So you can look up Facebook data center, Las Lunas, New Mexico. And this is the fun part. So it's a half acre. So every stockholder Every share that you've been granted uh, is equal to one square millimeter of that land, okay? Because it's a direct holding. So if you look at your share grants and you do the math, and I, I, when I get the, the documentation back um, that shows this stuff, I'll supply it to our, uh, to our stockholders. You know, the people who have a right to see it will see it. It's not... I'm not responsible to show anybody else. We're a private company. So uh, you will, so it's kind of fun. One square millimeter of that land is equal to one of your granted shares. Okay, so about 2 billion square millimeters in a half acre. Okay, and this is not a joke. This, this is a real deed to a real uh, piece of land just outside of that data center in New Mexico, Las Lunas, New Mexico, look it up. There's a lot of stuff building up around there and a lot of tech stuff building up around there and a lot of that happening around there. So uh, again, enjoy the first Sunday of NFL. I know this is NFL Sunday number one. Uh, stay safe with your friends and your family. Please take this virus very seriously. I still get reports from people who are in my network that are getting sick and, and other reports of people who I know of okay, that have died, okay? It is not the flu, okay? It is not another flu. And as indicated by, by this revelation uh, from, from uh, Bob Woodward last week, unfortunately, even the President of the United States knew that and he knew that it was airborne. I said it was airborne, I'm also on the record. He knew that in February, okay? So, uh, Thank you for your time. Please stay safe, and I'll report again uh, next Sunday. Bye now.